Welcome to our event to introduce all the winners of the Writers of the Future Volume 40. Let me start by introducing Maliva Coach, our managing editor. Do you want to say a few words, Maliva? I'm so, I'm so excited. I've been working with all these illustrators now for the last six, nine months for the art and that we're publishing in Writers of the Future Volume 40. So I just wanted to say that I'm just excited about all these illustrators. So I've basically just invited all, all of you to come to see the art that they actually entered the contest with and won with. And then when we release volume 40, you'll see the art that, that they illustrated for the stories that are in the book. We're here, we're featuring pieces from their portfolios and, and links, and we're providing the links to their portfolios. You can see more of their work. So we're excited to, to feature them and, and we'd like you to meet them all. Okay. And next now, Echoes. Yes, hello. Lazarus Chernig. Nice to meet you. Great, thank you. And following Lazarus, we've got Bob Eggleton. Hello. And here we've got, uh, next is Brian C. Hales. He's a judge, and he was a winner in volume 18. Hello, Brian. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, I'm at a theme park with my kids in Utah, but it's great to be here. <laughs> okay, great. And we'll be seeing you shortly. Yeah, I look forward to it. Thanks, guys. Okay, and then from Spain, hopefully we've got uh, we got Cirello here. Hello, how hi everybody? How are you doing? Now we have Craig Elliott. Hello, everyone. Great to see everyone. Amazing assemblage of artists and and uh, uh, writers and everyone. It's great to be here. And then we've got Rob Pryor. Hey there. How you guys doing? All right. I'm turning back over to Echo now. She's going to go through the amazing art of this year's winners. So Arthur is our first one. Do we have the images of Arthur's pieces up? So Arthur, oh, it was awesome working with Arthur. I can't wait till you get to see Arthur's pieces that we did for uh, Arthur's piece that we worked on for the uh, for the contest. Arthur is fantastic. What do you guys think of Arthur's pieces? Really nice. It's really, it's really got a great um, graphic. Um, it's got a great design work to it. A lot of nice work there. I love Arthur's colors. That's a great one. I love the motion in it and a lot going on. Really yeah, they nice. all have so much dynamism that everything's on a diagonal. So you're all, like on your yeah. toes with every yeah. uh, everything you look at. Yeah, it's great. The composition is really on point. Does Arthur want to say anything about his pieces? I was oh. going to say about the same thing. Uh, I, I I go inside. I second Gray about the dynam dynamism. I love the colors too, and the composition. Yeah, good. Thank you all so much to all the judges and all the members of the illustrators of the illustrators and writers of the future for selecting me, having me as part of this community, and also your inspiration as artists. And I'm looking forward to meeting so many of you in the uh, next week. So yes. thank you. And congratulations on winning. Thank you. Hey, your colors are just gorgeous. Thank you so much. Well, I like that one a lot. I love this one. I really love this one. <laughs> I don't... I remember this one, yeah. They all give me such a great sense of story. Like every single one, they're all so different, but I know that there's something going on and I want to keep looking at it to figure out what the story is. That's one of the greatest things that draws you into art, I think. I agree with Craig. I think uh, I, I like the story that's happening, especially in that last one. Um, it leads you into what could be in that world and the colors are great i'm really yeah. fond of yeah. characters um a lot like yeah. the in the previous piece particularly it's very nice i like the it's very the lighting's very nice in it i like it there's a good dose of mystery in them also it's like there's there's things that are clear right and then there's things right. that are not and that that gives you even more, like makes your brain work even more and draws you in even more. Yeah. You can tell the, the artist was telling something and not telling everything, 
and you have this beautiful depth through all the pieces that there is an entire world that you're going to step into and there is more to learn you know there's more going on the artist has a reason why they put everything the way they did i think this one's my favorite i don't know i just like that the wizard <laughs> Mm -hmm. Is Selena there to talk? Hi, yes, I'm here. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Wow, I'm so overwhelmed with all the nice comments from everyone. Thank you so, so much. It's so kind of you to say I all of the things. I can't <laughs> share your final piece with everyone. Uh, me too, me too. <laughs> it's, it's so, so cool that it will be next week that we'll be meeting everyone. <laughs> It's so hard to keep the, the final pieces a secret because I know what they look like and they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's also thanks to your art direction as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun developing it. So, but um, yeah, so your pieces are so, you know, the colors are so dynamic and they have so much mystery and they're so beautiful. Wow, that's that's so so nice to hear. Because for for some of them, I'm already like, oh, I wish I wanted to change that, and I want to change that. But I guess that's the curse of being an artist, right? <laughs> so none of the judges feel like that about their pieces, do you guys? Now, right? <laughs> yeah, I always feel. You the always same. look back. You always look back, and you think to yourself, "It's it, you know, you could have done this, you could have done that, but you know, you just move on." You have to at one point. <laughs> All right, Karina. I absolutely love this. It's whimsical. It's Same. it's got a it's got some impressionistic, you know, sure, feel sure. to it. Karina, your sense of, of you know color and space in your pieces is absolutely fantastic. Um I you know, the your use and where you drive the eye is uh it's really solid. Yeah, keep going through the pieces so we can see the pieces. Yes, yes. So absolutely. The, I wanna look I wanna cycle through the pieces. So, yeah, they're, they're, I like how they're all so, they, they have so much going on in them, and they're all so different. Um, the, the, I like the, the, the yeah, like you were saying, the sense of color is, is, is really, you know, good. I, like, I think this one's my favorite out of all of them. Yeah, me too. I really love the, the sense of the, the painterly feeling to it. And I also like the, the difference between the, the, these three pieces. Uh, this is the second one is more elaborate, full of elements. I like how she uh, she combines the so many elements in the same piece. But this one and the I last like one are, are very you know similar in feel. How they have the sort of you know kind of surrealist feel to them. It was so much going on. What's amazing is that what's really wonderful about them is that it's very hard to get stuff like that to work really well. Uh, and she does it really masterfully. I mean, to ma really make it work and to make it like, because um, I've always had troubles myself with doing what they call, you know, something with a lot of elements, like a collage almost. And, and I, I, you know, but this, she's got it really, she's really nailed it. It's, it's great. The design and it's great. That's beautiful. It's easy for it to get too busy and overwhelming. Exactly. Over too much detail. Something can get over detailed and you can really mess it up that way and it, but she doesn't do that and she's got exactly what's going on and it's like and you start seeing other things subtle stuff going on that's going on in the background and, and uh, the the you know you look at it again you're going oh wait a minute that's this that's this it, 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 it's worth second and third looks that's what i'm saying and it's and it all still tells a story despite the surrealism i mean a lot of original surrealism was about trying to destroy the concept of a story but this it all works you you think that there's it leads you to start trying to piece things together and that then you want to read the story and find out what inspired it her hands are really good too are you here yes hello hello <laughs> how are you doing I'm good. How are you guys? Thank good. you. I love so how much. you draw your hands. They're so beautiful. Thank you. Just hearing your guys' comments and critiques, I feel like I'm blushing now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm calling from um, Providence, Rhode Island. Um, it's a very oh, it's small close place. By. But... We're oh, down really? The road. That's yeah, awesome. you're seven miles away from me. I'm in, I'm in Warwick. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited to meet you guys um next week and i've never been to la before but my um 
my tutor right now, uh, my professor Lars Grant West. He's a uh, active member in Dragon Con, and he said he he have met some of you guys before, and you guys are amazing people. So I'm so so exciting. Um, I'm like more than honored to um, be selected to be here. Lars is a good friend of mine, by the way. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's like we all know each other. It's all we're all connected. <laughs> Wow, that's great. Like, I'm so excited to like, join a supportive artist community uh, outside of my school. I'm still in school, by the way, but I'm looking forward to graduation. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Thanks, Thanks great, you Karina. See you next week. See you. Okay, next. Okay, Ashley. All right, let's look at all three of Ashley's pieces. Is Ashley here? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, these are great. I get like an almost modern Renaissance feel. Like, yeah, it's like it. It has that energy and that and the the rhythms and stuff, but it's like totally rethought, right? Yeah. Uh, very fresh and original, beautiful stuff. I love the attention to the uh, to the composition where. The edges, even in this one with the cow, the, the flowers, nothing leads you off of the the central elements of the artwork. You know, everything leads down into what you're supposed to pay attention to, and that's that's masterful storytelling uh, as an illustrator. Yeah, the yeah. Things are very uh, they they just glow. They're very uh, luminescent. Well, Ashley wasn't able to join us today, but we will make sure to forward her com the uh, comments you've all made to her. I'm sure she'll love it. Yeah, I love how the figures just, just glow, though. So, Okay, here we go with Tyler. Tyler, is Tyler here? Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey, yes, we can hear you. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name's Tyler. I'm from Texas. Um, it's an absolute honor to be here, especially being judged by so many amazing judges. I mean, we have artists from everything you can think of, D and D, Magic the Gathering, this Marvel, everything you think of here. So, absolute honor and uh, honor to be chosen by you guys um, and to be with these other contestants with such amazing artwork, especially all the traditional work. Which, if I touch paper on canvas or if I touch canvas, it just ends up a mess. So, <laughs> amazing to see all that. It was great working with you on your piece. Are you excited for? Uh, oh yeah, definitely. I think I uh, clocked in like 140 hours in that piece for the contest, so uh, it's going to be exciting to show it off. Yeah, the great reveal, the big reveal night is is a lot of fun. To uh, you know, have all the writers come in and uh, get to pick up their pieces and and see them for the first time. It's always really exciting. Definitely. I'm curious if anyone did theirs and. Uh, traditional if they could bring it like a oil or anything i really want to know <laughs> they don't bring them usually but they do they do these really impressive um uh, uh, uh displays of of each of the pieces so but they don't usually bring the originals i don't think we've ever had anyone bring the originals with them have we i don't think so i don't think so not yet but dan's supposed to be sending the painting of the cover oh cool that would be cool so what do you guys think of his pieces? I love the uh, the green, the, the forest one. It's beautiful. This one is this really nice stuff. There's a lot of nice stuff going with like the design, the background, the way the trees are working. It's really perfect. It's got like it's it's just really great. That's a great piece. I I agree with Bob on on that one and the uh, dragon here. It's um yeah, it's centralized. It tells a story, and you get a feel like, a, especially in the forest one, you get a feel of the character, and uh, and the way it's lit, it tells more of the story of the character. So yeah, Tyler, well done. Thank you. I love your sense of focal length. You know, you know exactly what you're looking at, um, and why the dragon piece has some, you know really, really uh, uh, intense points on the face of the dragon and on the hero, on the rider. Uh, this one with the, uh, the elf, you're looking straight at the face and everything else that draws you, you know, might draw you away from it to look at the detail, still just 
you become riveted on that face. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, it covers your colors are very rich. Yes, extremely rich colors. Really, really super nice colors. Thank you. I cheat. I just go to Chris Ron and Tyler Jacobson's work and just pretty much copy them over. I'm just kidding. But... <laughs> I like so. Yeah. Oh, there's Larry. Larry, you made it. Hey, Larry. Can you hear me? We can yeah. see you. Ah, okay. I'm so okay, good. So, next. Oh, I love the movement in the seats. Yeah. Love the movement in these pieces. It's... Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yes. we can hear you. Huh? We can hear you. Oh, that's you stunning, that one there. Yeah. So the I'm wind. actually on now? Yes. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. I want to thank you, James. I love the wings and the movement of these pieces so much. I just love this one. How it spirals. Yeah. This it's a beautiful mystery, every piece. I just want to know so much more that's going on, and I know that there is. It really draws me in. Okay. So next. <laughs> oh, I love these. Things. God, these are cute. These are really great. So whimsical. So fun. <laughs> Interesting. Great sense of scale and yeah. so emotional in all the best ways. I always love how this we uh, for this contest we always end up with such a wide variety of artists with so many different styles. Yes, we do. Which is just so cool. Green. Yes. I like that one a lot. There's a lot of nice colors going on. The composition's really striking, very nice. Yeah. I like this one too. <laughs> and this just one drips cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's All another piece. Nice. So exquisite. Nice. Yeah, these are exquisite. It's a nice. It's a nice style. It's a style you don't you don't see a lot of really like something like this. It's not photographic, which is really nice. It's just sort of it's got a really nice style going on, and it'll look nice. Uh, yeah, it's just mm -hmm. it's nice. Organic. Everything is organic. That's a deal. Yes, organic. Yeah. I think Even good. the moon. So Gigi's on. The, Gigi's there. She's texting, but she can come on and actually say something. Can you come on and say something? Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. How you doing? You look great. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I made... Um, this is actually a, a book that um, I'm working on, and... I finalized four pieces for my senior thesis last spring. Yeah. So these are like the whimsical pages of the story. Um, the story is about my nephew and my niece. Um, my nephew has uh, speech apraxia, childhood speech apraxia. So um, he, he just can't talk. And um, the story is just based on him searching for his words. And um yeah, so these are just like events that he goes through, um, you know, in a kid's mind when they go searching for stuff and having adventures. Um, yeah. That's great. That's amazing. I like that. Did you have fun working on your piece for the contest? I did. Actually, um, I wanted to comment. I'm glad you said that. So I believe Maliva, right, you... Um, you kind of designate the stories to the illustrators, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, okay. that is correct. Yeah. I just want to say thank you so much. Like, that was such a good story. And I really, I, I really enjoyed it. And it just made the process of creating um, just so, like, fun, you know? So I really appreciate that. You did a wonderful job. Um, I'll speak for myself. I, I had a good time. It was a great story. And I think it was like the perfect match for me. 
Wonderful. I definitely strive, I definitely strive to do that, you know, find elements in each person's art that I think is going to be um, the right match and the, and and create the, the right synergy. And, and so I'm really happy with that. And your piece is incredible. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see what, what everybody says when they see it next week. I believe okay. it works really hard to try to match the artist to a story that they can illustrate really well to bring out their strengths. So. Yeah. Well, that's great. So next. Dragon. Dragon in a jar. I love it. <laughs> that's nice. Very yeah. original, imaginative. I, it's like each of these, I don't feel like I've ever seen anything quite like them. That's quite lovely. Oh. Mm-hmm. What's, what's the medium you work in? Um, several different ones. Uh, that one was actually like watercolor and some gouache. Wow, that's really good. Yeah. Awesome. And that one is oil and the other one is also oil. Wow. Well, good. Go to the last one again. Yeah. That's nice. Nice. Yeah, Jennifer, your work in oil is fantastic. Thank your you. sense of detail, color, composition. Yeah, it's really, really, really well done. Also, the design on the characters are very... Very well done. Very creative. Thank you. Did you have fun doing your piece for the uh, contest? Yeah, I mean, fun and frustration because I had to learn some new skills, but that's good. <laughs> Looking forward to sharing it next week. Yeah, that'll be great. So these look really good. I like this one best, I think. I've just Me too. The blues are awesome. It's an exquisite combination of uh realism and whimsy. Mm -hmm. Especially like the uh uh your treatment of the word fantasy on the glass. It's so, so well done. It just brings an extra level of realism to the entire piece. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I like the uh, the metal, the metal, the work on the metal of the cap and all that. It's really nice. That's great. Well done, Jennifer. Good job. Wow, it looks like a section of the triptych. That's nice. That's really nice. I like yeah, the that's nice. yes. Super nice movement around the background, and it's really nice. The color, the colors are beautiful. Her face just jumps off the page. Yeah, is it watercolor? Is it? Yeah. What medium is it in? Is it here? Hello, everybody. Hello. And Pedro. Nice Hello, Pedro. Yes, uh, this uh, all of these pieces are are executed in oil painting. Oil okay. painting. Uh, good work. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, they are oil paint on mazonite. They're beautiful. I love the Thank ship. You. Thank you very much. That's uh, Leviathan. I've designed this this ship uh, to uh, to be part of a comic book that never took off. Oh, you know. <laughs> Are you still working on it, or is the comic? Book yes, uh, it's it kind of a pause right now, uh, but we hope to to get uh, the project uh, working. Uh, in the the next few months, I think. 
Okay. Nice. What did you for? Thank you. During my career, I've worked on a few um, comic things that never, <laughs> never got finished or never got done. Um, and uh, you do all that work, and 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 some of it's really good. And it's like, well, nobody's ever going to see this, you know. <laughs> but the work is good. The work is good. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, that's the feeling, indeed. Yeah. Uh, uh, we we put so much work in in some projects that never come to light. Uh, yeah. uh, but it was fun, uh, and at least uh, it uh, it uh, served to go here. So yeah. I'm happy with that. I think it's a, an accomplishment, at least. Uh, what is the uh, what is this piece for? Oh, uh, this wasn't uh, for anything at all. It's just uh, personal work. Uh, I just uh, done this to to uh, satisfy my curiosity of uh, the techniques of the old masters. I I tried to to bring some elements of the old masters to my work. And uh, this is what I came uh, with. I I don't know. I I don't have a, a, an explanation to this at all. Well, I think we've all done some paintings that we don't really have an explanation for. <laughs> Just being an artist, uh, but that's good. Indeed. it's very nice work. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice work. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay. Next. Okay. See Bentley. I love that one. It's really great. That's got a great background and it's very simplistic, but it's simple idea, but it's got it's really got a lot of impact and the color's really nice, the stark red and then the almost monochromatic one. It it makes the dude look almost three dimensional. Yeah. Like you're almost standing out of it. Now Steve is here too. Hello. Hi Steve, how you doing? Hi Steve, I'm, I'm good. I'm a little, um, little nervous after seeing everyone else's work. I feel like I'm an <laughs> imposter. <laughs> You're amazing. Oh, you deserve to be here. Thank you. Are you for next week? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be great to meet everybody after all this time. And sharing your your piece that you did. Yeah, it was. Uh, that was a challenge for me. I think that one. It's something that I, something like that I've never done before. So, you did a great job. Thank you. I, I enjoyed it in the end, but I think I beat myself up a lot for to get there. Oh, uh, you should be very proud of it. It came out really good. Thank you. So, what do you guys think of these? They look great. Yeah, these are really great. That's got a great. Um, that's got a great uh, sense of darkness about it. It's it's this creepy yeah yeah great character I, just, I see a subtle symbolism in all of them that i really appreciate like the the red planet in the sky has a looks a bit like a yin yang yeah yeah sure yeah the uh you know the, the 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 magic shop it's sort of a demon holding a human skull which is really cool and then i recognize some of the uh pop culture references on the shelves but you made it really subtle and just it still just seems thematic more than anything yeah i was struggling to find stuff to put the shit put on the shelf so i just thought things i recognize myself like there's about 14 different references in there i think mm -hmm. it was what? something a practice thing it was fun oh that's great what's your medium gouache gouache I'm mm -hmm. okay it's a lot more traditional media over the last, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, absolutely. I, yeah, I, I don't. I can do digital. I think a little bit, but I. There's just something to be said for having a painting in your hand at the end. I think. So, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it's just like yeah, exactly. It's like it's it's if the power goes out, you still got a painting. Yeah, exactly. I think when you do it by hand, your fingerprint is in it. Yeah. yeah. Part of you is in it. Well, they look great. Thank you. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. Okay, so next. Thank you. Next.
Nice. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> very unique style and imagination yeah. in this one. Yeah, that's very nice. Great atmosphere, too. Yeah, I like the palette a lot. No. And, and Connor's you know, here I want to know the story behind all this, too. Like, <laughs> yeah. Where's the book that, that leads up to this shot or this scene? Yeah, this mm -hmm. is great. Connor, are you here? Connor? Hello, everybody. Yes, I am. Um, joining you from uh, New Zealand. It's the morning here. Um, Sunday morning. I'm joining you from the future. Um, <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much for uh, for for the wonderful comments, and I, I think that honestly, the best compliment is just to be featured with all these other uh, incredible artists, or all these incredible artists. I feel yeah, uh, like a bit of an imposter myself, but um, yeah, there there uh, the wonderful thing is there actually is some stories uh, that you can read for this because um, I quite enjoy doing a bit of uh, fan art for some fantasy books that I'm a big fan of. Um, some of Brandon Sanderson's work, and then uh, some pieces as well are just for. Uh, I run some D&D campaigns and I, I really like to draw some pictures for uh, the adventures that, that my party will go on to sort of add to their imagination and build off those things as well. I love these. I love that. I love that. that yeah. face is fantastic. And I love the Jade woman, her, just the, 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 the texture of her. Oh, she just, she just looks so smooth. Like just, ah, just love it. She's a snaky. <laughs> no, thank you so much. I'm I'm very excited for next week. Um, and yeah, thank you, Maliva, for for choosing a wonderful story for for me to illustrate. Um, during uh, the the final month of drawing, uh, I moved house and I actually ended up finishing the picture, uh, sitting on boxes of my luggage that I'd moved to a new house. And all I had was I, I plugged in a jug so that I could drink coffee until the early hours while I was finishing the piece. But it was a lot of fun. Right, well, you did a great job, really, really a, a wonderful job, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, next. I love her emotions. No, she does emotions. She just like just the yeah, it's nice. Yeah, that's really super nice. Really good. They like, just faces. Yeah, I love the two D three D combo. Very nice. Nice. Now she's unfortunately not here, but any other comments, anything you're welcome to make here. Really, really, just really nice piece. I, that's my favorite. This one right here. Yeah, I like this one a lot too. But just her, the way she captures the emotions and the and the just the faces and sure you know, really caught my eye. So it's good. I like the emotional the study of the emotions in this piece that caught my eye too. But I like the one with the moons that uh, that was particularly. Like that one. She's good. Uh, her designs, the way she balances and everything. Um, I like the way she. Uh, it's different, but I like it. I always like how we have such just a wide range of styles for this contest. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's okay. everybody. Oh cool. wow! Cool. So this has been a. Uh, amazing tour de force with all of our uh, winners here. And one thing I've not said, which please forgive me, if you haven't pre-ordered Rise of Future Volume 40, do so. We've got a link in the chat. And if you're watching this on television, go to writersofthefuture.com. You can go to amazon.com or galaxypress.com and all three will take you just search for Writers of the Future, Volume 40, and you'll be able to see, this is the book cover you'll see, but you can click on the link and you can order the book. It will be released in the U.S. Uh, early May and in the rest of the world about a month later. But you can uh, order it right now and help support all these winners with their uh, launch to the world of professional writing and professional illustration. Sure. This event was specifically dedicated to the illustrators and um, people don't usually get to see, you know, how good you have to be in order to um, win this contest. Well, this is how good you have to be. And while some of these, some of these illustrators talk about how they were like um, imposter syndrome, they're hardly that 
they they won this. There's a lot of competition to win this comp to win this contest. They proved that they've got what it takes, and we're so looking forward to meeting them next week when they come out. Anybody's watching this right now, you're going to be able to see just some amazing judges going to be working with you, and uh, I'm really anxious to see all the art that gets released in the book itself when you see what their final art is for the uh, for the contest. On the 25th of this month, we're going to have our actual release event on YouTube. You'll be able to see it on writersthefuture.com, and it'll be right there on the homepage, and it'll be at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you want to come in an hour earlier, we've got some great pre-show things that you'll be able to see. Um, we, we look forward to seeing you. Um, it's the 40th anniversary, so we've got some really fun stuff prepared to celebrate this special occasion. Thank you very much for attending. Thank you. Thank you, John. Bye. Bye-bye, Bye -bye, everybody. Bye. See you later. See ya. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.